Let's get some jobs over we here. Have an oxygen shortage. Mmm. With 17 hours to go, you say? Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, episode 21. Now there's a little bit more progress made than last time, as you can see. Um, the issue was, as in the last episode, we had this sort of screen flickering going on. And I believe the game went through an update that was causing it to fight with my graphics card, because even before editing took place, this anomaly was present, and so there wasn't really anything I could do except to skip past it. Now, the game itself updated again, and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get it to work, Research complete. but it appears to be working so far. So good. So what I figured is we'll make this episode the finale. There was only two episodes to go anyways leading up to this point. We went ahead and we hit our milestone of uh, mega... No, no, no. A thousand colonists. Pardon me. Uh, the only milestone we haven't hit is this 40% workers and workshops. Now, I was working on that when I was starting to record this. And I'm not exactly sure how easily attainable it is. Let's go ahead and we, we do have things sped up. We'll take a look at what we built here. So we have this dome here where everybody can live and just have tremendous comfort and sanity. And then we connected tubes over here. So this area is very much a factory center with some leisure and a hospital. This dome is connected. Now, one of the things that I learned was that uh, these dome tunnels are really awesome, but they have limitations. So, like, these people can share these two domes, and these people can share these two, and then this one can share this dome here, which can also share with that dome. But they can't, they can't daisy chain. So, like, residents in this dome can't get access to services in this dome because they don't have a direct connection. That, again, that being the case, these, these dome connectors, these tubes, were added later in the game as our series was already running, and they would have greatly changed how I went about building these domes. But for the most part, everything seems to be going fairly well. Do we have a rocket ready to leave? Incoming. Is that what it is? We do. Uh, cannot land or, or food shortage. take off during dust storms. Right, so what we're going to need to do is... No, there's no excuse for food shortage over here. Not unless the drones are having trouble keeping up with the demand. So we built in some landing pads here. Some drone hubs. Increased our oxygen and water storage. Our excess power. In fact, let's take a look at our oxygen and water storage. Oof. Oxygen tanks are going down fast, actually. Hmm. Let's take a look at our water storage. I'm sure I built more water storage. Let's take a look at where that was. Is it down here? Water storage is doing pretty good. It's decreasing quickly, but we're not... And we are kind of in a steep water shortage. A little over two souls to go with the dust storm. Research complete. Oxygen could end up being a major, major factor here. Unless, oh, unless those tanks aren't full. Ah, but then that's, it's going to accelerate our oxygen usage as other tanks. Why is this tank idle? Oh, the building's malfunctioned. Malfunctioning cables. Uh, the pipes will never malfunction again, which is good. Drone heavy load. Resources are Let's... low. Oh. Things aren't... Things aren't getting repaired. Because deliveries aren't being made. This is always the problem with dust storms. In my opinion... Dust storms are by far the trickiest disaster to navigate. You need a really good infrastructure settled, settled uh, across everything so that people are making... Ooh, look at all those drone prefabs. So that people we are making the things that they need. 
Okay, you should not have a food shortage, but you will soon unless this transport starts carrying food over there. So we're going to go pick up that resource and take it there. And I think we'll get another one just because this area should be overflowing with food. That was the point of making the farm dome. And as long as you have transport rovers that are assigned routes to facilitate the gaps in your production, then you won't have a problem with the dust storms. But you have to you have to plan ahead with that. For example, I know all my food is made in one spot, and I know my other dome areas, such as 1 and 2, produce their own food. We could build more domes over here. I mean, really, the sky is the limit at this point. And that's why this seems like a perfect place to sort of wrap up the game. Now, would it be really nice to get the 40% workers in workshops? Uh, well, I guess we might as well work on that. Unemployed lots what about here nope unemployed 100 no nobody's unemployed 70 okay so let's Research get some complete. let's get some jobs over we here have an oxygen shortage mm, with 17 hours to go you say that's concerning very, very concerning. So I think what we're going to need is a lot more storage, obviously. Assuming everybody can make it 13 hours without oxygen. Oh my. This could end up being really bad, actually. This could end up being really bad indeed. We have a water shortage. Okay, well, hopefully everyone has picked up their survivor perk. So we're going to need more water storage as well. We have well. a food shortage. And we have a food shortage, which should be uh, alleviated here pretty soon. I don't... Okay. I think if we get rid of this dumping site... Or no, we should be able to move the pipes over here, right? Uneven terrain. Hmm. There, that should do it. Almost positive. Um, as long as the dust storm... Hey, look at that. Did anybody die? I don't think anybody died. And nobody should be starving at all. Alright, let's go ahead and send the rocket back. Remaining resources on board. Yeah, might as well leave it till the machine parts are used up. Ooh, look at the shuttles go now. Global load is low. They're like, no problem, we got this. Built the Mohol mine over here. Everything appears to be fine. Oxygen flow is really not increasing as fast as we want. We're going to need more Moxies. I suppose that's sort of just the way it goes. When you're dealing with... We have a water shortage. Oop. Research complete. Sort of the way it goes when you're dealing with... Um, such large populations on Mars, you know? So it really is... really is a lot. We shouldn't have a water shor shortage. Everybody appears to be doing fine. You take off yet? No. Can we use these machine parts up? We have a food shortage. Here, why don't you come over here and pick up these machine parts, please? 
Now we just need to find work for everybody. And workshops, no less. Well, we can build another dome. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just make medium workshop dome. What is this? Metal deposit? Come over here. Pick this up. No, 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 you get the machine parts. If the other one was stopped, then you're going to get the machine parts. There we go. Didn't take the tunnel. I think that's the last... The last milestone was added, if I'm not mistaken. The last milestone was added in an update, where they also added the, the tubes to connect domes. I'm not 100%. But I feel like that is the case. 13 is going to take a second. 127 unemployed. 125 homeless. Holy moly. Holy moly. Our population is just exploding. Um, forbid births in all domes. Goodness. Stop. Oh my. Oh my. Just look. Here, 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 here. This is simple fix, right? Because we're going to come over here and say... There's no... Okay, so there's no real homeless over here. So if we build some infrastructure for domes... Wow, that's going to give everybody places to... It's going to give everybody places to live, but now they're going to need work to give their lives meaning. Goodness. And look, they are... We did... Yes, we are making food over here. Okay. It's just too many people. 1,600 colonists on Mars. And funding and research. So at this point, it's sort of just a sandbox. You know? You can... Build your heart's content. You can try out different designs. We have a food shortage. I do like the density of this. It sort of looks like a little metropolis. I like this. I feel like the layout isn't optimized. So we have places over here for children. Lots of them. And then we have schools, playgrounds, some more factories and a hospital. More places for children over here. And they're just, they're full, but they can use the school. We'll have more schools there. I did put in two universities. I'm going to go ahead and open up all three shifts for the universities. And then I suppose, yeah, we'll just... Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade these moxies here. Still pushing a water shortage. That's interesting. How is that not connected? Does it not... I feel like that should connect. Oh well. Okay, destroy it. Right, some of these buildings have frozen. Always a problem. Let's give ourselves a little subsurface heater, right? Don't we have one? Here, yeah, we'll put it right next to that one. There we go. That should take care of that. This area is frozen as well. Oh my goodness. How many subsurface heaters? So there's no... That's troubling. It's like there's no real way to kick the subsurface heater in the butt and say, Hey, we have a food you, need to keep, you need to keep going.
So look at this. Same thing over here. Research complete. And it's not like we were out of power. That one's still going strong. So we're going to have to make these subsurface heaters and then... This one will get repaired and defrosted. Okay, so that should take care of things. All right, dust storms really do mess stuff up. The cold snap or the cold waves, meteor showers, piece of cake, and um, I didn't really deal with any dust devils, but it also seems like that wouldn't be that big of a deal. Look, we've almost got our water shortage fit fixed. Look at that. Okay, you can be decommissioned now. No! No, it's gonna freeze! Um, is that not going to... Must be connected to a power producer. No! <laughs> That's so horrible! Okay, then we'll just build one here. Ah, managing the cold is painful. It is. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, look at that. We don't even need that one. Perfect. Everything will get thawed out, repaired, water surplus, oxygen surplus. We're still going to need more water towers. And probably... Probably going to require some more oxygen storage as well, some more oxygen tanks. Although they seem to be filling really slow. Having the storage doesn't help if we don't have a way to fill it up with oxygen. Okay, at least our colonists stopped growing for a little bit. I swear it was just a thousand colonists a minute ago, but you give everybody utopian living conditions and next thing you know, they're like rabbits. Okay, cancel you, cancel you. Cancel you. Perfect. We have a food shortage. Resources Same thing over are here. Low. We do not have a food shortage. Poppycock, I say. There you go. Let's get rid of all that refuse. Do we need three heaters here? No, probably not. In fact, I know for a fact that we don't. And we shouldn't have a problem with this anymore. This shouldn't be... Oh, oh, I know what happened. Subsurface heaters require iron to maintain. That's an easy fix, actually. We can go ahead and we can give this path over here access to iron. And then we can sort of just leave it here for a while. All right, we don't have a drone hub. We can put one like here and then a subsurface heater here. No, 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 no. No drone hub there. Try again. Drone hub goes... Here, that way it can reach the two. Okay, so then for storage, we just need... Mm, we need metal metal depots. What I Okay, so one of the things I've noticed, and I sort of wish it was the case, um, is I've noticed that... I've noticed that when... When you have storage, like I have metal storage here, and then let's say I have, uh, and it's empty, and I have metal storage over here, and it's full. Okay, it's not full. We it's, have a food it's, shortage. It's trying to get full. It may get full. 
It likely will eventually. We don't have a food shortage, do we? No, we don't. Let the shuttles do their job. Whoa, whoa. Really? Shuttles should just be rocketing food over here. Um, so I've noticed if I have... Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I noticed if I have full metal storage somewhere and an empty metal storage somewhere, my shuttles don't actually try to ferry from the heavy store from the full storage over to the empty storage like a stockpile. And I sort of wish they would. I wish the logic of the shuttles would be, hey, this metal storage is full and there's an empty one over there. Let's start borrowing from this one so the extractors can continue working and fill up the empty ones that are laying around. And, of course, this is going to get frozen very quickly now because there is no water. There you go. And I'm pretty sure my pipes are to be built instantly. Oh, the rocks have to be moved out of the way. Well, we can give everybody storage for rocks. In fact, that's how we're going to make our concrete. Perfect. No active research. Research complete. No active Funding research, because we don't need it. I mean, you have so much. We really could just go nuts. Back to the milestones. Still not 40% workers in workshops. Unemployed has gone down. A little bit. Could open up a lot more. A lot more spots to work. Still have a lot of unemployed over here. I wonder if we could just do like a small dome. Well, no, because this is unemployed and homeless. Unemployed and homeless. No, let's put the medium dome here. Oh, they're not going to have a connector unless I demolish one of those buildings. Ah, see, I... I it's tough. To, to tie one dome to another with a tube, you really have to have a spot you're willing to sacrifice. Okay. That being the case, let's build somewhere else, I think. I mean, it is the end. It's the end of the series. But I think we can still sort of just have a little bit of fun with our with our insane resources. Just put a tunnel over there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll piggyback this tunnel over here. That should connect everything. This is sort of like the main tunnel hub. This is the gateway to the colony of Mars. This is your visitor center. This is where, this is where orientation happens. Then you move into the crossroads, right? And then from there, you can either go to the research outpost or you can go to the slice of Earth on Mars that is the main production center with minor behavioral shaping. <laughs> what is that? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about that. From over here, we're going to connect these two. Just like that. And then get ourselves a drone hub. Which, because it's a prefab, it should build itself automatically. And then we put a universal depot here, which we go and say, no food. No food for the depot, please. Boom. Let the construction begin. Shuttles will ferry the materials over here. The drones should come with a bit of a charge. Oh no, things are going to build themselves because of nanites. Don't even really need the drones. As long as somebody's bringing the metal. Yeah, those construction nanites, very helpful. Resources are low. Oh, look at that! Our food truck used the wrong tunnel. What? 
Is that faster than taking the other tunnel? I don't know. That pathing logic with tunnels needs to be looked at a little bit. All right, let's pick up this metal and then we can drop it off here. Actually, do you are you the one that has the metal? No, you have the machine parts. It's like the shuttles are dropping off everything but metal. Okay, you have enough metal. Go ahead and put that there. Let's get the drones helping, please. I think that's doing it. There we go. The drones are alive. They're alive. Okay, we'll bring the traveling transport back over in this direction. Maybe pick up some more of these metals. I don't know how we're going to top this, though. This is really, and this, this especially. Sanity 95, Comfort 58. Uh, what are they missing? 35 colonists are looking for relaxation. 23 are looking for dining. It's just because they're, they're full. Like, there's no... Yeah, we just don't have enough parks and stuff. Oh, well. It's more important that everybody works. Look at this. Tunnel's done. Wow, it got built fast. So then for domes... Let's go ahead and put a... We'll just see how fast we can throw together a couple of oval domes. Let's see, this will be like the twin domes. They're going to like share resources. And then maybe we could even do one here. Like three domes sharing resources. That could be fun. Let's see how that works. Okay. From there, we're going to need landing pad, I'm thinking, here and here. Which we're going to go ahead and connect up this dome. And we'll get a drone hub going right here. So let's get it kind of close to the dome, right there. And we'll get our Universal Depot. It's going to be a lot more oxygen and water usage. But as long as there are no more Research uh, no more births here on Mars, we should be doing okay. This will work. So it's going to take a lot of polymers. And we sort of, we have a lot of everything. Here, if we bring our RC rover, or, yep, there it is, RC rover. If we bring you over here, you'll kind of get this up and running relatively quickly. Drone load heavy. We can go ahead and add more drones to this drone hub. We have quite a few prefabs standing by. These drones are going to need... They're going to need a lot of friends to be able to get everything done. And then we're going to put down some recharging stations, because I've noticed you don't really worry about recharging stations in the beginning until you have 50 or 60 drones swarming around a drone hub and trying to recharge one at a time. Then you have a problem. Oxygen surplus is looking good. It's getting there. How's that water storage looking? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm really, truly concerned about. Well... With all of these resources, we can easily afford to start putting uh, moisture evaporators all around. Even though putting them next to extractors will cause them to get dirty, so we don't want to do that. And we could put two there. One here. I don't think we're pulling any up over here, and we don't really have any extractors to worry about. We have a food uh, We have some extractors up there. But this area is just cramped. There's just not a lot of room. Let's 
Let's see, that's not gonna have power unless we do that, okay. Drone heavy load. Really? Okay, well, you can have some more prefabs too, actually. Why not? Why not? Because we can always make more. Now, if I schedule those, that's just for that one factory. And we have a lot of factories, so we might as well just schedule a whole lot more drones to be made. Cold wave approaching. Cold wave approaching. Shouldn't be a problem. There you go. Oxygen's going, water's going. Domes are being built. Shuttles can come in and land. This one will be built in no time. We have lots of concrete. Metals are getting low. Shocking. Even with the... the Mohole Mine... Are you not running? It doesn't look like it's running. There's no animation. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get our oxygen production. So we're not going to have problems with this anymore. That's not a thing I'm going to let happen. We have a food shortage. And I feel like our storage is just fine. We have an oxygen shortage. We have a water shortage. We have a power shortage. Uh, well, not really I mean just it's it just looks like it but we're about to not look at that dome's got power dome's got oxygen dome's got water perfect and then when this dome is built we'll be able to start connecting them with tubes and then we'll just We'll just throw down a whole lot of buildings all at once and just kind of build everything as fast as we can here with all of these near unlimited resources. Yep, build that upgrade in all moxies, please. Oh, you know what I didn't check? Did we augment our water extractors down here? We did. And then just all these rare metals, they're just not... I mean, we could get money, but for what purpose? Uh, we can't upgrade all of our moisture evaporators. Did they change the way that looks? Uh, they kind of did. That's interesting. Yeah, water storage, not so much. Oxygen storage is almost going up by a whole tick per hour. This is going to be done soon. This isn't even... Yeah. We could always... Uh-huh. There's our solution. But, well, no, don't don't do it like that. Um, come down like this, like this. And pipes never need maintenance anymore, which is whew, really awesome. I sort of wish we had something like that for the we wires. Have a food shortage. Oh, look at that oxygen surplus. That's what you want to see. And the water surplus is getting there. How are you out of power? Research complete. Because you were turned off. Okay. Well, we're fixing that right now. Thank you. Bypass that. Resources are low. Resources are not low. Don't you scare me like that. 
That's that's insane. We have thousands of food. Okay. There we go. And that will definitely take care of our water issue. There's another deep water reserve. Right there. It's really not that far. I really don't think it's necessary, though. All right, back to domes here. Hey, look at that. All three domes are built, powered with oxygen, with water. We still have a surplus doing great. We're not going to be increasing our colonists, so we don't have to worry about increasing our food demand. Instead, what I'm going to try to do here is pre-plan our passages. And they can't cut through wires at all. Resources are low. So we'll just run one along there. Run along here. Right? And then one like... No, does that not work? How about... One like that. Hey, that's not so bad. Then we can... What we can... Ramp over that one, and we'll be able to ramp over this one. And then this one, though, is going to have a problem. So let's see the elegant... A power There's got to be an elegant way to do this. Can the... Nobody's living here yet, right? Yeah, lack of colonists. Just checking. That's by design. <laughs> That's on purpose. I assure you. Still going to be blocking objects with the pipes. We could daisy chain here and then to there. That might be the smart thing. Let's do that. We have a food shortage. We have an oxygen shortage. We have a water shortage. Yep, like that. Like that. It looks a little non-standard, but if it functions, this will be actually really neat able to have this whole thing done look at that it all nicely fits inside the drone hubs area of influence and control it's good let's see these domes aren't freezing due to lack of power are they nobody should be freezing still have a power surplus that's good Got to keep that power surplus. Are those tunnels finished? I believe they are. Yep, we'll put a passage there. Passage there, and then we'll put one over here in just a second. Now, this is going to be really neat. This is sort of what I wanted to do up top and wasn't able to. In this capacity, all three um, domes are going to be able to share resources... and facilities with each other. So anybody living here will have access to both of these domes and so forth, because we've got a little bit of a triangle. And we've got ovals, which is really cool. Let's start with the spires. Seems to me like we want to go with hanging gardens and arcology, and then maybe another arcology here. We'll do one arcology in each dome. And then we'll do a medical center here and another hanging gardens here. And that way everybody will have access to medical and places to relax right out the gate. We're going to need storage for food. Right? Yeah, I mean, of course, yeah. We're going to need storage for food. Let's just do that. We're going to do a universal depot, which we already have one here. We're going to do another one here. That's fine. Tons of resources. Why is there a heavy drone load over here? Oh, for the waste rock? Really? Really? Eh, if you say so. 
Look at how icy it is. Yeah, but when you go we inside here, shortage. you can't even tell. It's just like being on a cold day in Earth. Look at that blue tint to the dome. That's nice. Makes you wonder why we just don't tint all the domes blue. I mean, come on. Okay, here we are. Drones are working hard. I didn't look at the global demand on shuttles. It still says low. Seems like all the resources we need are getting here fast enough. Why don't we ship some in? I think that'll be a good maneuver. So we'll just bring in... Let's say one rocket full of polymers and one rocket full of electronics. And then we'll actually call in another rocket full of machine parts. We're just going to take all of them. Might as well. And we'll build ourselves another launch pad right about, oh, I don't know, right here. I'm going to check that oxygen and water storage again. Oxygen storage is full. Beautiful. Water storage is getting there, but it's up to 1.3. Oh, that's, mm, that's delicious. Arcology. Residents queuing to move in. Meteor incoming. Uh-uh. Should get shot. Ooh, it was close. Speaking of meteors incoming, let's go ahead and put down our meteor defense over here, the MDS laser. We'll go ahead and put one here. And we'll put one here. We have a food shortage. And since we can daisy chain power through the dome, there's no need to have big long tubes and tunnels, which I really like. I didn't realize that was such an easy thing that you could do. To just put a little one one speck of wire down and it will carry power through buildings. I would also have changed a significant amount about how I designed things. So we're trying to make this kind of optimum over here. Yeah, we're gonna need what a diner. Maybe we'll put the diners where the gardens are and not where the I feel like every dome should have a grocer and a diner to not do that seems seems like folly so we'll just start with that unemployed and homeless well we can always crank out more work Let's go ahead and get uh, yeah, machine parts factories. Oh, yeah. Just like that. And electronics factories. And then we'll open up all three shifts. And that'll put a significant amount of them to work. Uh, don't forget, we can upgrade our, our, our arcology. We're still looking at homeless, though. Should be able to make. Uh, I don't think comfort is our main concern right now. Let's go with apartments. I want to get everybody to have a home. Everybody that doesn't have a home should be moving into these domes. Like everybody. Oh, look, we've got shuttles ready for landing. Good stuff. One, two, and three. I like the launch pads. I like that we can now land shuttles without getting dust and debris everywhere. I think that's just great. And now we just have tons and tons of resources. So let's go, we'll say, one spot here for polymers. Research complete. One spot for electronics and machine parts. All of our base is covered.
And we still have quite a surplus. Surplus of food. Surplus of everything. Surplus of everything. It doesn't tell you the progress on like how close you are to 40% workers and workshops. So that's sort of sort of befuddling a little bit. Not sure why they wouldn't just tell you that. Sort of just a little harmony. Drones and shuttles. Let's just queue up more drones over here at the pre more prefabs, please. Well, what we really need is concrete. Are you you're still ferrying food back and forth? Okay, uh, you can come over here and pick up lots of this concrete that's just sort of stacked over here and you can come back and drop it off right here please and we'll go ahead and put that down and then and of course we built right on the concrete deposits it's like oh who needs this concrete we have plenty of concrete which we do but it would have been nice to have it on site not the end of the world though Oh, we're getting the number of homeless down. Let's go ahead and improve the comfort of all of these apartments. It looks like all the homeless people that have moved here are ready to move into the apartments right away. We're going to go ahead and queue up these factories to actually be productive. Meteor shower incoming. Unemployed. Homeless. Meteor shower? I scoff at thee. We're fully protected. Well, except for like little areas here and there. The domes are protected. Alright, and these shuttles are ready for takeoff. Just that fast. There you go. How's everybody doing? Gaming, shopping, social. Well, again, we're going to say that this dome over here is going to have the bar. Let's do an open air gym. And then, do we have any like really big parks? Here, we'll do a stone garden, followed by two regular gardens with a fountain in the middle. And then I think we'll put down an art store, an electronics store. This will sort of be the leisure dome over here. Put the casino complex over here. I mean, heck, that's what, that's everything. Do we, do we need anything else? It says they couldn't fulfill their need for dining. And this is why I think you have to have more than, you have to have more than one diner somewhere. Which I sort of, I wish there was like a, a larger option. Uh, I mean, uh, something like instead of just a diner, some like big fancy restaurant, you know, that took up the the full triangle scope that that a lot of the bigger buildings take up, feeds more people and and all of that. That would be really neat. We'll put the lake there and a statue there. Unemployed, 53. Comfort's going up. Nobody really has any complaints. Let's 
Still looking at unemployed. Well, there is always the polymer factory. Received. Three. We built three of those. We'll build three of these. Put it up like that, and then pipe over and down. Boom. And we can also include some fuel refineries right here, so we're making fuel on we have a food shortage. Site. Nobody should have a food shortage. Unemployed and looking for work. Vacant work slots. Disabled work slots. Vacant nursery. Vacant residential. Homeless. This is good. How can I tell where they're working? Unemployed colonists. No, I don't want to cycle through all the unemployed colonists. I, I just, I have no indicator to know how many of them are actually working in workshops and how close I'm getting to that 40% mark. That's tough. Could just be like a efficiency thing. Like you can't just crank out a bunch of extra workshops and expect it to happen. Comfort's going up. Gaming, dining, luxury. Well. If you need more gaming and dining and luxury. A has died. Oh no. That's no good. Let's put down another space bar. And then another competing art store. And a competing electronic store. <laughs> right. It's like, did you guys have to move in right next door? It's like, well. You can't get away from capitalism even on Mars. Or maybe they're both the same store. It's like Starbucks. There's just gotta gotta have one across every every street. Shopping. Service buildings are full. I do believe we just took care of that. Anomaly found. Nobody cares about your meteor shower anomalies. Okay, thanks. We this have a food shortage. So with the fuel refineries and the polymer factories, we might have actually Nope. We're still doing great on the water on the water area. Okay. Okay, colonists are dying, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, oops, wrong way. I'm going to say, people in this dome. Oh, they're so unhappy. There's just not enough services. Mmm. Not enough parks. Not enough anything, really. They're just so unhappy. <laughs> well, that's, that's where everybody has to work. There's no time to relax. This is where everybody wants to come. This is like the vacation spot. When you work... Dust storm approaching. When you work your fingers to the bone over there, you get to come over here and relax. I did want this episode to be a little bit longer to make up for the two episodes that I recorded that had worthless video and could not be used due to screen flickering. Um, but I think we're kind of at a point to wrap it up. We could just keep putting more and more stuff down trying to get this milestone, but I'm not inclined to chase it. At this point, the world is my oyster, and I can colonize Mars however I see fit. There really is no limit to what I can do. I Research could come up complete. here and restructure some of this, eliminate some of these work areas here at this hub, and put in relaxation, and then do the same thing over here, shuffle jobs somewhere else. And likely that's all what I would do, but I think that's going to be where we wrap things up for the finale of our Surviving Mars series. So this has been Surviving Mars episode 21. We jumped ahead a little bit just to show you the end game. We are officially at the end game. That being said, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because as always... 
had a good time playing. Let's come back next time for whichever game that may be. But until then, take care.